Hello, Derek. Okay. Workout resumed. That's it. Workout resumed. Workout not resumed. No, I'm just... oh, we, I, it has auto pause today. So when we stop for a drink, we can. The, the clock will stop ticking. Oh my god. This is going to be hot. You think? Yep. It's just, already hot. Well, you've just come off the hill. Take advantage of the shade. No, I saw you and I was like, oh, I better start my <laughs> Have you seen me? Yeah, I saw you just as I looked up. I thought he'll be here in a minute. But you've learnt from me to be early. So put no big deal if you have to wait three or four minutes. I came on my bike today. because I wanted to uh, bring back some empties. Did you finish that yield? Uh, I just finished it now. I had a little bit left, and I drank it. Today? Well, yeah, I've still got some more powder at home. Powder? I thought you didn't... I thought you finished it, you lord. I finished what was in my bottle. So I figured we should do five miles today. Four out, four back. Four kilometers out, four kilometers back. The other day when I came over here on the, the Swan Lake trestle, there was a guy with a hammer. He was working for the city. He was... Oh, and you, uh, they're fixing the boards. Yeah. You yeah. saw that, eh? I saw that yesterday when I went to the, the police station. Oh, to the police station. Yeah. I'm a little bit tired today. I ran 10 miles yesterday. What is that? I don't know. I don't want to look. It looked pretty yucky. <laughs> it might have got eaten by a dog by then. You see, it's nine o'clock now. Oh, there's a water bottle. Just like mine. Exactly like mine. If it's there when we come back, I'll pick it up. Is it the same local? Yep. Ultimate. Uh, Ultimate. Uh, I think it's just called Ultimate. Hydration. It's a two words. Ultimate hydration, maybe. Really. So, how are you finding a new basement suite? It was good. Yeah? You're not lonely? No. Do you spend any time with the family? Yeah, I yeah. spend time with the family. What do they do? Watch TV and have supper? Okay. And what time do they turn in? Ten o'clock? Uh, well, eight. Eight? Yeah, yeah. So they must get up early. I should say, Carl says, we order the new guys and he goes to bed at nine, not <laughs> Actually, I go to bed at ten. But I guess if they have an infant in the house, infants wake up at all sorts of times. The other house. Oh, the other mum and dad's. Oh, the baby's been moved back. No, no, she comes in now visits. Ah, I thought maybe she was in care. It's funny. Along here, there's a street called Swan Street, and on the same street. There's a sign that says Swan Road. Like they couldn't make up their minds whether it was a street or a road. That guy looks like a painter. Yeah. 
Why? Oh, well, because he had a paint pants on. Oh, yeah, and he had to paint his hat on as well. Well, he had paint pants on. Yeah. And, uh, and a grumpy face. Yeah. Paint yourself. Grumpy faces. That's true. Hello. Wow. I think we're going to be outnumbered today. I think there's going to be more cyclists than walkers and runners. So far it's about 50-50. Very soon there'll be more bikes going by us than runners. There's another bike. That's about 10 we've seen in a minute. I love him. Yeah, and another one. Oh, screw um, the, the baby thing doesn't count. No, the baby thing counts as a pedestrian. Two. Because the baby's going to be walking soon. So, that's another pedestrian. But I thought the baby thing doesn't count. Yeah, but the people do. It doesn't count as a bike. Because you couldn't really ride it. No, that's what I mean, don't count. It has to be pushed by a pedestrian. So what do we call this? What? This bridge. I don't know. The Glock. The baby Glockenspiel. Yeah, well Graham gave blood yesterday. He has a very rare blood group. Do you get money for her? I don't know. You should give them money. They do in some countries. In some countries they give you money for anything, you know, like if you give them blood or you donate a kidney, they give you money. I mean a kidney, they give you thousands of dollars. You've only got two. Yeah. And another pedestrian. I'll count the pedestrians. Nine. Uh, good. Ten. I knew that guy. He's uh, East Indian. He ran 50k. No, he ran the first time as marathon one year. Did he win? Yep. What? He won. And then the following year, he ran the 50k. But he didn't win. I think you might as well give up on counting. It's going to get too high. You know why? This is the time when people are going to work. It's around nine o'clock. So this is a very popular way for people, <laughs> for people to get downtown and back out of town. Because we've seen them going both ways, right? It's not just one-way traffic. That way. Well, there's also the ones that go out towards Colwood. They would split up just after the tunnel. Am I going too fast? No. Nope. No? Good. You're, you're ahead of me, but you're still going the same pace. Yeah. You're tracking me. 21. You're doing a Norma. Oh, no. You're using me as a pacer. No, Norma does it on purpose. I don't. I just do my own pace. Yeah. I don't slow it down on purpose. You're a one pace pony. Yep. This bridge doesn't have as much of an echo. Well, the difference is that's a bridge, and the next one is a tunnel. 
by definition a tunnel is longer than a bridge. I mean a tunnel is like lots of bridges slapped together. So today is Wednesday, right? Yeah. That's why I'm recording my Wednesday show with Derek. Are you going to, uh, are we going to do uh, a big hike, right? Yeah, we could do. Whoa! They go by pretty fast, don't they? No. Not really, that was one and a half bikes. No, that still doesn't count because it's still She couldn't ride it by herself, that's right. Without the, the other person, it wouldn't work. 25, 26, because I saw a bicycle, she wouldn't get fast. Yeah. You're like Count Dracula. <laughs> Do you remember from uh, Sesame Street? No, me neither. Fred Panner was good, yeah. And the je the gentle giant was that the American guy? Oh, I, I lost track now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> five more, six, seven. Forget it. Forget it. Hello. Yeah, ah, ah, ah. What I've noticed is there's so many nice bikes around nowadays. Yeah. I mean, it makes our bikes look like hunks of junk. Mm. Well, I think the guy. The guy that I bought the water off, had me the bike off. Yeah. He said it was six hundred dollars. He was lying. Okay. It might have been. It might have been something like three hundred dollars when it first came out, but it was. It wasn't like the latest model. When you bought it, it was already two or three years old. I mean, granted, you were the second owner, but he probably bought it from a Canadian tire up island somewhere. Had a special order it. Yeah? But you spent almost as much on it as it cost in the first place. More. So what are you drinking? Uh yeah, we could do. Bay of the pigs? The bay, bay of pigs, yeah, like yeah. like the uh, what was it in Cuba? Then we could call it uh, the communist bike ride. The communists, but they're not communists. Well, they are communists, but they've, they've opened their doors. Well, not anymore, because Fidel Castro not George anymore. His brother is. Oh, Raul. Well, I think he's a bad guy. Well, it was his younger brother, I think. <coughs> well, like Russia, you see, Cuba's trying to adopt capitalism while still controlling their people. So they want their cake and they want to eat it too. They want the tourist money, but they want everybody to be under their control, the residents. Well, I don't think Victoria cares about the tourist money. No? Well, ever since, um, you know, remember Sealand? Yep, I remember. That's where they had the, the, the killer whale. Yep. And the killer whale killed the trainer. Yep. We had, uh, we had everything. We had uh -oh. the Black Museum. We had water slides. That's true, we did. Tourists. Well, tourists back then. And the Sea World. Yep, it was so big. So big back then. Yeah. We are making money. Hand over fist.
And now, nothing. Now the government wants to take all that <coughs> tax from the past onto the bridge. Yep. Well, I'd like to see the bridge finished. Well, One day we could run there, and when it opens... The earthquake is going to... Well, what if there's a big earthquake? Then they're going to have to spend another yeah. $30, $30 million. Well, hopefully they'll make it earthquake-proof. Well, Whoa! Only two, uh, I reckon we're up to about 35 bikes. It's only earthquake to uh, consent. To a certain level of whatever they measure earthquakes. Yeah. The Richter scale. But I learned something the other day. Uh, force 2 on the Richter scale is a small earthquake. Force 4 on a Richter scale isn't twice as big. It's ten times as big. It's like it escalates. Well, um, there is the person at uh, SeaWorld was punishing the whales. Oh. If the whale didn't do what they wanted the whale to do. What was she doing? Keeping back the fish? Not giving her food? food? I think the whales got too annoyed. Yeah. But eventually they got irritated. Well, I think a lot of that's to do with the cooping them up. They don't like being cooped up. Well, that too. That's a double. Double, double one. Whammy. Yeah. Not only do they, do they not like being bullied into performing, they don't like sleeping in a crowded tank. So if sea lion didn't get closed, who knows black museum might have not got closed. It's like uh, the big fish eating the little fish. It's yeah. like a chain reaction. The ripple effect. Yeah. Like a set of dominoes. Yeah. So if sea lion closes, black museum closes. Well, if you notice, all the ones that have closed yeah. are the ones that are privately owned. Yeah. The BC Museum is still open. Yeah, because Sea Land was privately closed too. Yeah. yeah. I think it was owned by Oak Bay Marina. Yeah. But that closed before I came to Victoria. I was still in Montreal when that happened. I was listening to the radio and they said that a a trainer at SeaWorld, Victoria, was killed by a killer whale. Now it's against the law to swim in the same water as an orca. Before they used to have, like, tourist events where you could go and swim with the dolphins. I think they still let you swim with dolphins. You know what came after... You know what closed after the last museum? What? Uh, Crystal Gardens. Crystal Gardens, hang on. We're stopping because of this truck. I would have thought he would have given us priority. Yeah, he's got <laughs> Yeah, well, <laughs> I guess he's got his mate in the truck. I guess he's got... Uh, after Undersea Gardens. The Undersea World? Oh yeah, under Sea Gardens, you're right. That one closed. And then after Under Sea Gardens, uh, Queen Victoria Hotel. Yeah. And then after that, it was uh, Next will be the Miniature World. They'll close that one down. Well, they're already in trouble right now. But that's part of the Empress Hotel, yeah. I think. And there's a bug museum. Oh, then the Capital Six Theater. Yes, you're right. That one closed down. Obviously not enough tourists. They don't like coming to Victoria anymore. Victoria is such a well-kept secret that nobody comes here. <laughs> well, no, it's not that. Is it? It's only people in Canada that know about Victoria. If the government keeps placing their tax money and keep raising the leases up for, for like, places like the Capital Six. Yeah. You know, businesses can't run in Victoria, so Victoria will soon be a ghost town. Yep. 
like Dawson City. All the all the B is banks, uh, gas stations, and uh, Bong City. Yeah, that's what it'll be. Oh, guess what? They'll call it Bong City instead of Victoria. Guess what? Guess what? what? This is really scary. Really scary. Actually, spooky. Spooky. Um, I heard on the news yeah. that. Uh, the police. Yeah. Right beside Bond City. Yeah. It used to be a health center. <laughs> now it's a, um, a, a cannibal where you can go in and grab marijuana. Oh, you mean like a, what they call it, a compassionate store? Yeah. Can you buy it in there or so what I, just the paraphernalia? What I heard on the news was that the people are robbing in. Oh. They're breaking in. I'm not surprised. <laughs> That's not like Bong cities and marijuana centers. Yeah. That's not supposed to help Victoria. Not really, no. <laughs> I'm, I guess they're anticipating a change in the law. Well, yeah, they're thinking that it'll stop. Uh, it'll be legal. And yeah. then they can be the first on the block. Well, if we do this, it'll stop people from smoking marijuana. No, I won't. No, I won't. They'll just break in. Yeah. Well, we're going a little bit fast. We've done three kilometers. We've got one to go. And then we turn back. That's better. We dialed it back a bit. Talking of undersea gardens, you remember I used to work in home care? Yeah. I had to go and see a client once. He was a little black guy, about this tall, from South Africa. And I said, oh, what was your job? Oh, he, said, he said, I've had so many jobs. What was the one that I enjoyed the most, I said to him. Which was the job you enjoyed the most? He said, I used to do underwater diving with uh, scuba gear. Oh, so I said, that's interesting. Not with you and me and my dad? No, no. Oh. <laughs> no anyway, the, the guy said, I said, what was your most interesting job? And he said, I used to be a diver for undersea gardens. What? I used to have to go down under the boat where they have the display. Who did? This diver guy, this little black man. And he had to dig out the octopuses and say, OK, show's on. Time to come out of your nest. And he would be down there to make it look more realistic. So they'll have like, they weren't staging fights or anything, but they just had him underwater. They paid him to be a prop in their display. And then they, they, he had to keep the animals moving around in there. Okay, sorry. Every time, I st every time you stop for a break, I feel energized. You see, it's been about 50% shade today, luckily. Yeah, so not too bad. Yeah. I'm not really gasping for breath. No, and besides... The first five minutes is the hardest. See that rock down there? I saw a guy ride his mountain bike up, over, and down. Really? Yeah, I was amazed. I was with uh, Graham, and obviously he didn't see the guy, but I told him, I said, you know what a guy just did? He just rode over a huge boulder the size of a minivan. Bigger. To be a little careful with these dogs because sometimes they're they've been abused you know sometimes they get yappy this dog seems quite calm good dog good dog oh okay look the standoff oh, between that's the cat why. yeah I thought it was because of us no no it's because of the cat. 
That's what the woman said. She said, I see there's a cat over there. You know what I'd like to do? What? Um, wear a shirt that says, I'm going to show a picture of a dog in a cat yeah. saying, don't shop a dog. And then go in the SPCA and yeah. show the shirt off and say, don't shop a dog. Yeah, a dog. Because SPCA, they sell. Um, animals for like four hundred dollars, and instead of adopting them, yeah, you mean the pet stores sell them for? No, SPCA. They sell the dogs. Yeah. But are they theirs to sell, or are they? And, um, I don't know. But uh, SPCA, they don't give them away for free. Oh, I've never owned a dog. Never in my life. I've had lots of other animals. I've had. Uh, tortoise, snapping turtle, uh, cats, a couple of cats, fish, goldfish. Look at this. Talk about low tide. Smile, Derek. What? Smile a bit. Oh, <laughs> Well, we're out in the sun again. Getting back to those killer whales on display, the, uh, the San Diego Zoo has killer whales, but they keep them in a sort of a more of a natural uh, place. They don't make them do tricks. Of course, when SeaWorld bought um, SeaWorld her that sea land was closing, yeah. SeaWorld bought the, the remaining whales, yeah. Yeah, well, no, but one whale. Yeah. Called Tilcom. And Tilcom was a whale that killed somebody else. Yeah. And they weren't aware. Yeah. They didn't tell SeaWorld about Tilcom the whale. Tilcom was a killer, too. Must have been something about living in Oak Bay. It was like a million dollars for the whale. Yeah. And they didn't even tell them. They didn't know what they'd let themselves in for. Yeah. And guess what happened? They killed another yeah. instructor. At SeaWorld. Yeah. Same whale. I thought they put the first one down. What's that? L loose lace? Oh no, they closed Sea Land. Yeah. But they didn't close SeaWorld. I see. We must be getting pretty close to our turnaround. Yeah. Work out with you. Work out with you. This bridge opens when they have to get some of the boats with the tall masts, the sailing boats, through. Sometimes they make them put the mast down, and other times they, they open the bridge for them. But most of those boats aren't going anywhere. They just live there. They use it as their parking lot kind of thing. I'm going to take another drink. I know you've got your bottle. We've done the opposite today. Last week I had the bottle. This week you got the bottle. What have you got in it? Just water or sports drink? The stuff that you bought me. How'd you like it? It was good. Oh, nice. Next time we run together, you'll have to bring me a little sample because I'll be out of e load by then. But I think e load made a difference because I went to, and ran with Graham yesterday, or on Monday. Mm. Hold this, will you? Thank you. I just want to check the stats. 3.99. Do you want to do it just a little bit more? Oh no, 401, there you go. We've done four kilometers now. Oh. That's the nice thing about having autopause in the summer. If you have to stop a little longer to catch your breath, here. If you have to stop a little longer to catch your breath, the clock stops while you're doing that. Oh my God. This is 
Just tell me when you're ready to head back. Well, we would have lost count of bikes by now. I think we must be up to about 50. And maybe 20. 40. <laughs> and maybe about 18 pedestrians. There's another bike. Does an electric bike count? He is pedaling, but he's got an electric back wheel. Yeah, it counts. Counts. Now, the other thing to remember is that if you needed to use the bathroom, there's one about 200 meters down the path that way, if you needed to take a leak, because there's nowhere to pee along here unless you go into the bushes. Ready? No. Oh. I really don't think that's... You should try and do planks, Derek, planks. Tighten up your abs. That's what my coach taught me. He said I'll lose that gut in no time. That's what I'm saying. It's not really fat. It's just because you've got no muscles across your abs mm -hmm. to hold the, the, the uh, belly fat in. Yeah. Once you had uh, tighter abs, then you'd find that your, your, uh, basically your belly wouldn't show as much. What you should that do for uh, four minutes? Four minutes of plank. Is that plank from your elbows or from your hands? Like your plank is your elbows and your feet. Yeah, so you can be doing a push up or you can be on your elbows. Yeah, well you know for me. If I told you that I did 10 push-ups every day, you would say, liar. No, easy. <laughs> Not for me, it isn't. I think I could probably do 15 push-ups. I, I could probably do 15 push-ups total and then I'd have to take a break. I've been running for too long, Derek. My upper body is of no consequence. Shot? It's not shot, it's just never built, never been built up. I mean, if I went to the gym all winter and did dumbbells, I'd probably get quite a bit of muscle on my arms, but it wouldn't help my running if I had a better core strength, that would. They always say core strength is important for runners. Because it helps you keep your spine. I think it's a core swing. No, core strength. It keeps your spine in line. Yeah. Instead of just relying on the bones to hold your spine together, you're using a band of muscles on either side. There's that dog again. Good dog. Good dog. The cat is probably up there still. <laughs> yeah. She's going to have to go past the cat again. Oh. The cat's probably saying, why does this dog have to be on the same path? Yeah, but it's funny. That dog just barked at another dog, so... I wonder what's wrong with the dog. Maybe he's been traumatized. Zaren would never come along here. Because of the smell. He can't stand the smell of seaweed. He can't stand the smell of seaweed. I remember once Gordon Head Elementary went to Gyro Beach to do a field day and he couldn't, he couldn't stay. He said he almost vomited because of that smell of the sea. A lot of people like that. Well, it was just that. What is she talking to herself? No, no, she was on the phone. Um, if it was just brown seaweed and not green, then it wouldn't smell. Yeah, that's right. Fresh seaweed from the ocean 
It doesn't smell, it's only this stuff. The green one. It's this algae. Well, and green too. too. Yeah. Um, you know that ice cream that's in the, those little Dixie cups? Yeah. Those are cups made out of seaweed. Brown seaweed. I heard that. One of the one of the products they get from seaweed, they use. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but they use that for stopping ice cream from forming crystals, so it keeps the ice cream smooth. So we're going through. The uh, what? Watch out behind you. What's in that box? Probably somebody sleeping, Derek. It might well be his house. I think that's what it is. If he's not in there now, he will probably go in there to sleep tonight. I thrive on stability. You know what that means? It means I like things to stay as they are. Yeah. Oh, I do too. I don't like, I don't like change. Well, Some people I, love it. Some people absolutely adore stress. Like, like, if it's not broken, don't change it, right? Exactly. Ever since I stopped working, I've been trying to simplify my life as much as possible. Making it better. Yeah, improving it by simplifying it. Yeah. yeah, hang on. I'm gonna take another one last drink. Hi. We gotta uh, run to help make and try that really good one. Yep. What we could do is we could cycle to Elk Lake and then run one lap. Is this where you do the police car washing? Yeah. Do they have a garage? Uh, no. What do you do outside? Yeah, we just do that. Do they give you all the equipment? Yeah. A bucket and a hose? Yeah. How long does it take you to clean a police car? Well, we do about 14 police cars in about three hours. Oh, that's pretty good. Yep. And do you do the K9 vet trucks? Oh yeah, that's so scary. <laughs> like sometimes you're cleaning them and then all of a sudden, what, what, what? When they start burning that year too, because I guess they can they, sense your fear. Possibly, or they, they're trying to protect that little K9 vehicle. A lot of times when the, when the handler retires, he takes the dog with him. The same with some of those army dogs. Some of those army dogs have been given medals of bravery. Like they go and, de they don't defuse a bomb, but they... They might pick up a hand grenade. No, they just use a bomb. No, just... <laughs> the dog. <laughs> they give it a special set of tools. They just try to wipe their poops. They just pee on it. And they go for the blue wire, not the, not the, not, not the red wire. No, they cut the blue wire. What was the last movie you went to see, Derek? Minions? Yeah. Would you recommend it for me? No, it's a kid's movie. Oh, a kid's movie. Was it animated? No, it was animated. Didn't have real actors? No. Distance, seven, kilometers. One kilometer to go, Derek. Because of that water break, we've dropped to 6.54.
from 649 to 654 just for stopping for water. Actually, no, that's not right because the auto pause is working. Just means that we slowed down, eh, Derek? We've got six minutes to go. Well, it's shifting time. Oh, my, uh, my bike needs... My bike wheel is starting to uh, wobble again. Oh, yeah. For the front or the back? The front. I think that's uh, 12 dollars. To have it straightened. Yeah. I think they say realigned. Okay. Or, I think they say either realigned or balanced. To have your wheel balanced. Well, today's been an easy day for me. Five miles is just about a short run. I think next time we run, we should try and do six miles. Okay. No? You don't think you're ready for ten? Okay. But it wasn't too difficult to meet up at nine o'clock, so we should use that as our start time. When we go out to see the pigs, either tomorrow or Friday. Well, tomorrow, I work Friday. Oh, okay. So tomorrow, we could meet at the same spot at nine, or maybe by the drinking fountain. You know the one just across from Mount Doug? That one. Well, I'm gonna also. I'm gonna do a workout on Friday. I'm gonna take the bike to work. Good for you. Have you charged up the GPS thing? I think it's still good. Well, it doesn't last forever, so when you're not using it, you should switch it off. If there's no lights showing, it's off. And if you want it to go on, you just press and hold the bottom one. But that way you could keep track of your mileage when you're on the bike because you could easily slip your iPad into the front carrier of your bike and once you've got the distance you don't have to do it every time because it'll be the same every time but if you do that and if you ride to see the pigs and if you ride to work when you go to clean the police cars, you should be on track. And if you start doing planks, talking of planks, these new planks on the bridge. Look, there's a water bottle there, there's a water bottle there. Ultimate hydration. Nah, I'll leave it. You know, because somebody might really need it. They might have put it there on purpose for when they come back. Because I noticed there was one on the other side as well. There was? Yeah. But the other one looked a little bit, a little bit dirtier. I won't be coming back to your place today, Derek, because I got my bike here. Can you lock it up? Yep. 
Today there will be a lot of people coming to the bottle bank because it's recycling day. So they'll be going around collecting. Well, what I don't understand is I gave them my resume. Where? Uh, to the bottle bank. Yeah. Still haven't heard a word. I'm like, well, what the fuck? I have 17 years of experience. Yeah. I don't see why they would ignore that. I know, but it, I wouldn't recommend it as a job. It's too noisy. The noise in there is incredible when they're crashing bottles and stuff. Oh. Plus all the broken glass. You could easily get stung by a wasp as well. There's always wasps in there. All because they love the leftover cola. Yep, the leftover cola and beer. All that smell of sweet stuff. Yep. They wouldn't hire you if you were allergic to wasp sting. You'd be very stupid to work there. One hundred meters to go. That's about right. I bet you if they put a, somebody puts in a, um, a resume worth of thirty years of experience, they still wouldn't look at it. They well, they might not think shop experience is the right kind of experience to work in a bottle bank. Yeah. They just want students. Yeah. Hire them and fire them. I think they are, they're hiring all these young people more than the old timers. Well, that's because we're getting older. It's well, like even policemen. I mean, you do. <coughs> policemen not, look young now. They're not hiring 20s or 30s. Work hard. If they're not hiring me, they're hiring young people. Yeah. I work twice as hard as the young people. Yep, you do. You could probably do the work of three of them. But they pay, they pay minimum wage. All right. So, Derek, good run. Tomorrow, what time do we meet? Uh, nine, nine o'clock at the drinking fountain down there? Yeah. All right, I'll be there. If, if you're not there, I'll go without you, okay? All right. I'll see you tomorrow at nine. And there's the professor, look. He's pushing his shopping carts. It seems to amaze me that people think oh, hang on. I got the light. People would never believe me if I told them I was a professor. He used to be a college professor, yeah, I know. Thank you. All right, so just done 8K with Derek. Seems to me I'm doing 8K with Derek and 8K with Graham once a week. And tomorrow we're going to be cycling down to see the pigs. So probably no running for me tomorrow. So this is the running jackal signing off, saying goodbye to all his friends and family. Bye-bye.